The example I'm going to look at is making magnesium chloride, MgCl2. So you start with the delta H formation, so that's Mg plus Cl2, that's making magnesium chloride from its elements, and that arrow is going down, and we make MgCl2 as a solid. The next thing we need to do, we need to atomize the magnesium, because the magnesium needs to be a gas. So the delta H of atomization, we're going to make that solid into a gas. Next, we're going to ionize the magnesium, so we need to think about the first and the second, because Mg magnesium forms Mg2+, so it's the first and the second ionization energy, and that will give us the Mg2 plus ion as a gas, and then we've still got chlorine gas there. So what we're going to do next is the bond dissociation enthalpy. We're going to break that bond between those two chlorine atoms to give us two separate chlorine atoms, which we're doing now. So that's Mg2 plus as a gas, and now we have two Cl uh, atoms as a gas. And what we need to do next is we need to take those two electrons from the magnesium and add them to those two chlorine atoms. That's the first electron affinity. And we have to multiply that by two because there are two atoms of chlorine. We need to make two negative ions, two negative chloride ions. So we multiply that by two. And then finally, we have the lattice enthalpy, delta H lat. So now I'm going to write in the values. So we start off with the delta H formation. That's negative, so it's exothermic, negative 642 kilojoules per mole. Next is the delta H of atomization. That's endothermic, because it takes energy to make magnesium from a solid to a gas. That's plus 148 kilojoules. Next is the first ionization energy. Again, that's positive, so it's endothermic. The first ionization en energy is... 738 kilojoules. The second ionization energy is 1,451 kilojoules. Next, we're going to break that bond between the two chlorine atoms. Again, that's endothermic, and we need 243 kilojoules of energy to do that. And now the arrows are going down, so we're now um, into negative values, so that's uh, exothermic, and we need 2 times the electron affinity, which is negative 349 kilojoules. So now we can calculate the lattice enthalpy from the born harbor cycle. So the delta H formation of magnesium chloride equals the delta H atomization of magnesium plus the bond dissociation enthalpy for chlorine plus the first and second ionization energies for magnesium plus two times the electron affinity for chlorine plus the lattice enthalpy. Now I know that the the uh, delta H formation for magnesium chloride is negative 642 kilojoules, so I put that in my equation there. And then the third line, I've taken the negative 642, and I've put it on this side to become positive 642, and I've taken the delta H lat, or the lattice enthalpy, over to this side. So now I can calculate the lattice enthalpy, and for us, the lattice enthalpy is going to be endothermic because it's the lattice enthalpy of dissociation. So if we add all these together, we end up with 2,542 kilojoules per mole.